after the France 24 debate where we've been talking about uh, Afghanistan and what next after that final U.S. drawdown of ground troops expected in a matter of weeks or days. We're in the company of uh, Murtaza Beboudi, who is a uh, Franco-Afghan journalist, and with France 24 correspondent uh, Margot Ben, who's here passing through, going back to Kabul. Murtaza, uh, one of the uh, questions that's still up in the air is what happens to all those who've helped out the soldiers, uh, the uh, aid workers, and the journalists, the interpreters. Yeah, I mean, we had just yesterday um, uh, British interpreters, Afghan interpreters for uh, British Army. I mean, they were uh, practicing yesterday in Kabul. We had the uh, US uh, uh, interpreters, Afghan for US Army interpreters. They had also uh, several protests um, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, yeah. And also we had the French army interpreters, Afghan, uh, there are hundred, about hundred people uh, abandoned in Afghanistan um, and they had uh, had a protest also at the beginning of the month. The French what had pulled out years ago and yet yes. their interpreters, their status they're is still, still up in the air. They're still waiting. They had um, uh, applied for visa, but uh, rejection by the Minister of Defense and also uh, the French How ambassador. much danger are they? Um, they how much danger are they? They are in absolute danger. Why now? Because they work for a military. They were not interpreted for the uh, the embassy. They were uh, um, interpreted for the military, for the French military. A week ago, um, the um, uh, former, uh, the ex uh, um, Afghan interpreter for, for, for French uh, military, uh, uh, he has been killed by Taliban in the road of Vardak. And uh, his brother is a nun in France. He was also working for, for French military. He had worked for French military for years, but he was abandoned with the family in Kabul. Margot Ben, this question has been up in the air for years, and it's not like we weren't warned with what happened in Iraq. So why has this still not been resolved? Well, I think, at least for France, uh, the, the, reason, well, the main reason is a completely erratic system of visa attribution. I mean, like Morteza was saying, uh, the, the former interpreter for the French army who died, who was killed and tortured by the Taliban very recently, his brother is currently living in France. Why was his brother more eligible for a visa than, uh, than the person who died? Uh, this is, and I, I know many other people, I have friends who are currently in Kabul, we have friends living in Kabul uh, who are waiting visa, who have been either um, awaiting an answer or who received a negative answer on uh, grounds that, for instance, they were uh, working in logistics and so were less visible to the enemy, to the Taliban, or they weren't as frequently seen with the military. Uh, but all these things are, I mean, all these arguments are not really... Um... Last week we got the promise by the, uh, by the uh, U.S. president to his Afghan counterpart that uh, they would be taking care of those interpreters. You think that's not gonna happen? I mean, it's it's up to the, the governments to decide. Uh, the US has indeed uh, said that it would welcome um, a few hundred interpreters, if I'm, if I'm correct. Uh, France also promised that um, it would help, uh, but they have been much less vocal on this issue. Uh, the, the particularity with France, um, which is very interesting, is that the French embassy in Kabul and the French government um, have welcomed about 600 Afghans uh, who had worked for French or Francophone institutions in Kabul. They're now being uh, welcomed in France, which is a very good step. But a lot of former interpreters uh, and um, employees of the French army are now wondering why they are not, li not eligible for this measure. Yes, and these interpreters, they are still receiving threats by Taliban. They were tortured, the family, they lost families in the road, but they're um, um, living uh, hidden in Kabul and other parts of Afghanistan. All right, well, thank you so much uh, for that. Uh, Mortaza Bebouti, Margot Ben. And yeah, there's more on our website, france24.com, uh, uh, as this drawdown nears for the U.S. military.